Hello friends, this is another episode of Fall Painting and Stuff, and I'll be painting this cardinal. Some people call it a red bird. I hope you enjoy it. Right now I'm sketching on the canvas which I laid out in a two by two inch grid squares. The canvas is 12 by 16. The image of this cardinal I got off of pixabay.com and then I used a grid drawing tool to to grid the image which I have on my computer in at present in drawing this picture from most people kind of stay away from gridding in that they feel that it takes too much time or I found that very few people can become proficient at drawing with uh, this grid gridding system but uh, as you can see the more you use it uh, the faster you get and it uh, saves me a lot of time in the long run because I can get my proportions down right from the beginning there's a lot less erasing and I found it saves me a lot of time you don't have to erase the grid lines in an oil painting because you're going to be painting right over top of them. Right here you see me painting a coat of acrylic paint over top of, well let me back up. Once I did this pencil drawing, I sprayed it with an acrylic fixative that uh, uh, saves my graphite drawing or when I put this acrylic burnt umber over top of it it gives me a, a neutral background to put my oil paints on. Now I just wait until it dries before I put my oil paints on it. The uh, oil paints I'm using are Windsor & Newton Griffin Alkyde paints. They are very fast drying. They normally dry overnight. But one of the other beauties about this paint is that it becomes tacky pretty quick. That gives me the ability to 
paint over my existing paint. The tackiness gives a tooth so the paint that I'm about to put on there can lay down easily. Uh, the tackiness grabs onto that new paint. So if it was wet and I tried to put wet on top of that, I'd be just pushing paint around. But there comes a time where you want to uh, paint wet on wet, where you can do a lot of blending on the picture platform itself. But tactiness uh, is one of the properties that I like about this Griffin all paint and then it happens quite quickly in a matter of oh 30 minutes I go back and it's tacky enough that it will pick up new paint Now in painting this picture, the object is the cardinal. The background is not important. The coloring is somewhat important, but we don't want the viewer distracted by the background. We want him to be conscious of the main object of the picture. So in the background, I do a very modeled appearance. So you really can't focus on any one thing. It's just a blurred background. And as we come forward towards the viewer, we start putting in details, not specific details, but as we come forward, we get less and less modeled in our background. Now, when we get to the branch that the cardinal is actually resting on, then we start getting more particular about how we're putting down our paint. It's going to be quite a while before I actually get to detailing.
Well, friends, this is just about the end of this video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions or comments, please add them below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. If you like this uh, episode of All Painting and Stuff, please subscribe and give me a like. And if you're so inclined, ring that bell. Until we meet again, I hope you do well. Take care. Bye now.